this is with the power off. Because all we have here is one power wire that was powering our original nav light. So we have the cannon plug removed or the screw in adapter piece removed rather for the old light. We have cleaned up wire here that's about to get crimped with the butt ends that are supplied with the U Avionics tail beacon that I have here. Uh, this is what's going to be installed. It's our ADSB out transponder. It works with our current transponder in there that's a uh, KT76A. Uh, what it'll do is wirelessly talk to that transponder and our uh, cell phone application to set it up and that will allow us to have ADSB out capability. The reason we decided to go with this, the uh, local avionics shop quoted the owner of this airplane, which is who I work for, uh, I believe it was just over $5,000 for the uh, transition to GTX 345 system, which is ADS-B in and out capability. That would have included the uh, unit itself, new trays, new wiring harness, and a new antenna that's required for that system. And then uh, I believe it was quoted at 40, 40 hours labor to do all that with the removal of the KT-76A. So instead of going with that, I decided to go this route and put in the UV uh, avionics tail beacon system. This is also the older tail beacon system, if you will. Uh, I believe the new one's called uh, tail beacon X or something of the like. And what that will do is I uh, believe that's a 1090 ES system instead of a 978. I'm not 100% on that, but uh, essentially instead of having this one little spike off of it, like uh, let me find it here, this system does how it has one antenna here. It's got two of them and they split off like a V. Uh, it's pretty cool looking, but uh, I don't believe that system has ADSB in either. So uh, that's something to consider if you're looking at the UAVionic system. All right, I'm gonna go grab some tools so I can get a good hold of that wire and crimp it properly.